Russian dictator Putin has a new American hostage today. She's a ballerina charged with treason. Her crime? Donating $51.80 to a Ukrainian charity. Ksenia Karolina moved to the USA about 10 years ago to pursue her dreams of becoming a ballerina, posing for these striking images on the Brooklyn Bridge. The 33-year-old became a proud U.S. citizen in 2021. She now lives in Los Angeles and works as a manager at this spa in Beverly Hills. Ksenia traveled to Russia to visit her family, a decision her former mother-in-law says she may live to regret. I was asking myself, why did she go? Why did she go? I am worried about her physical being because she's a little teeny tiny, very gentle lady. Putin is making the most of his prize, parading Ksenia on state TV, a white wool hat pulled over her eyes. Bill Browder is an expert on Russian affairs. She's like a trading chip. She just They just grab people who might be sympathetic uh, hostages that, that the American public would be sympathetic towards and keeps them as trading fodder. Oh, mother Russia. Last night on The Daily Show, Jon Stewart mocked Tucker Carlson for marveling at how cheap a week's worth of groceries was in Moscow compared to here in the U.S. It was $104 U.S. Seeing what things cost and how people live, it will radicalize you against our leaders. That's how I feel anyway, radicalized. Radicalized! And it will radicalize you unless you understand basic economics. See, $104 for groceries sounds like a great bargain unless you realize Russians earn less than $200 a week. Donald Trump continues to take heat from Nikki Haley for failing to condemn Putin for the mysterious sudden death of heroic Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny. She's trailing badly in the polls ahead of Saturday's South Carolina Republican primary, but refuses to throw in the towel. On Sunday, I'll still be running for president. I'm not going anywhere. 